Hi folks, how are we doing? We are looking for the Super Formula Light and Hungaro ring. What a circuit for this little car in the dry. Different story in the wet. Right then, Hungara ring. This type of circuit suits this car down to a T. Lots of fast corners, kind of a slowish chicane. But this this can actually ride the curves quite well, which I was quite shocked at. There's other curves this car does not like in the slightest, but around here they was okay. There is a few warnings that I'll point out as well. Be careful of grey curbs. You can actually bottom out on them. So if you do have a spin, make sure you don't park it on a grey curb because you will bottom out and stay there and basically can't go anywhere because you're bottomed out also be careful of your safety rating around here hungara ring is notoriously difficult to overtake there's kind of only one opportunity down in turn one and this huge dive bomb anyway although this slipstream is quite powerful on this car so fingers crossed it won't be too much of a dive bomb otherwise the rest of the circuit is kind of a bit awkward to get an overtake in you can do it but again be careful people will be dive bombing people will be locking up people will be spinning people are getting dq because the amount of off tracks and car contact that it will inevitably happen in the new f4 bandit series that seems to be the super formula lights but yeah this circuit this car is very fun to drive on it's just the other drivers we have to worry about which is like that on every single week otherwise as we go into the wet is a completely different kettle of fish now this circuit wasn't as bad as monza in my opinion about driving in the wet because monza was just horrific for whatever reason the amount of puddles and rivers and lakes that were there were ridiculous this one's okay in certain areas but there is certain weird places like this breaking zone here coming down turn five is it yes it is for some reason, the rear kept losing the rear. And I don't know if that's where I'm transi transitioning over the rubber line. It just really, really freaked me out a few times. And it seemed to be, I couldn't find what the reason was. So that was the weirdest thing. This chicane down here is not too bad. There's a few lakes on the apex. So again, be cautious through there. And, and it's just trying to find a, a line that works for you guys, really. And this is what I do the track guys for, try and help you out. But anyway, enough of me waffling. Let's crack on with the weather. So this is the fixed weather that I use for these two sessions that I create. I want the weather fixed because then it's fixed for the entire uh, practice session that I use. I don't want to get any drier or wetter, depending on what session I do. And uh, it's kind of too extreme. So this is a moderate usage, uh, which I don't, you know, is is all very wet that we're going to get. And then I do the dry clear session to get to the dry side of things. So then depending on what weather conditions we might see in this week, uh, which I don't think actually this week in this season is actually wet on either. But hey ho, going forward, if you're watching this in the future, hello, uh, you can vary the line depending on the two weather conditions and that's kind of the best way i can do these really but yeah otherwise not a bad little circuit in the dry a little bit tricky in the wet but otherwise not to be waffling let's crack on with it right then the start finish straight this is definitely going to be your best opportunity for an overtake into turn one we are hunting down there keep on the left hand side and watch out for the pit exit just over this slight little brow here people can come out of there but we're looking for the 100 meter slash this little white line that goes across the circuit as well you can see just after it break in a nice heavy straight line use the curb it's absolutely fine all the way down to second gear you can go down to first if you want a bit more rotation but i cock the inside wheel there and get on power as soon as i can be careful about the off track that's about as close as you can get to an off track without actually getting one but i didn't get one on this lap guaranteed but yeah be careful about running wide there it is an easy off track to get keep it on the right hand side as you're coming around that sort of kink of turn whatever it is it's not even a turn and at the start of the curb there you want to break now i was staying wide but i was finding that you can get to the apex nice and early and use the brake and kind of the downhill and you get a lot of rotation just at that point when you get the speed on so that's definitely the way the quickest way through it get to the curb and hug the curb absolutely flat out through this one this kink of turn three just try not to hit the curb too heavily because you'll spin well you won't spin but you'll jot around a little bit and it won't be smooth for the car it can easily get around there flat out even too wide so it should that be fine this kink up here of turn four is very nearly flat just as so you touch the curb you want to turn off of it and then lift just to get a little bit more rotation and i get very dangerous on this curb you can bottom out there and spin quickly approaching turn five at the end of the barrier there on the left hand side that's our braking marker very very gentle and see the rear end stepping out there the rear ends are getting a little bit hot i feel so be careful about spinning out there it will happen and be careful for crash as well don't run too far wide on the left here because there is an annoying little off track that will come out and bite you. Use the curbing here at the start. This is the awkward chain. Really slow down. We've had a couple of fast corners. Get it slowed down all the way in second gear. Loads of curb, but try and keep a tyre on the left on the old tarmac. And that one you should be accelerating at this point. So always compromise the first one to accelerate through the second one. Use the advertisement boards on here on the right hand side. You want to turn in and then big lift, slight graze of brake. Loads of curb. That's probably too much curb. I do bottom out and push wide a little bit because I want to stay far left to really open up this right hander. So compromise the first one compromise this second one as best you can but not too much because you can get through this next left hander absolutely flat out getting a nice flow through there is critical for lap time if you get offline it really does affect you because you're offline for the next one and so on 
Start the curb again. Touch the curb a little bit. Big lift as you turn off. And then a little cheeky tick on the curb as you go past the apex. Don't straddle it too much because you will get pushed wide. And be careful of this curb here. If you stay on it, you will get an off track. So get on it and then get off it straight away. Slight downhill brake zone here. So brake sooner than you think. So at the start of the curbing, again, brake on the curbing. Slow it down. It's a very, very tight corner. This It really tightens up on exit. So be cautious about running too far wide. You can use a little bit of the curb there. But again, be careful of the off track run too far wide. And don't do a Verstappen and put it in the barrier. The shadow as we go under the advertisement bridge just above our heads. That's our breaking mark for this one. Again, kind of do this like turn two. Get to the apex, hug the inside curb until you can sort of see the exit and the advertisement boards here. Feed in the power and you can run a little bit wide here into the pit lane and onto the curb and without getting off track. That's not a problem. Last corner, the most important one. Use this white line right here. We're already turning in uh, for the corner and then brake nice and gently and let the car slow down naturally. Try and hug the inside of this curb as much as you can. You see I get a little bit of understeer through here which does affect my exit. You want to try and get on power in a nice smooth transition and let the car bleed out nicely again there's a silly little off track there on exit so be cautious about that one and the line is right there that appears very very quickly but that is us done and dusted right onto the wet session now and you can see i'm already staying off the racing line because bear in mind the rubber side is dangerous. So get to the middle of the circuit and we're using the same sort of markers, just we're braking a little bit before. So we're using this white line and you see I'm braking before it instead of after it. And I'm using that because I can see that on my screen. So brake nice and easy in a straight line. Get it all the way down to first gear. Avoid the lake on the apex, although you are going slow, it's not too bad. And then be smooth on power application and avoid that curb on the outside because curbs are also very, very slippy and can cause you to spin. Speed up now and stay to the middle of the circuit. Now this corner wasn't too bad in the wet. I did, I did mind it at all so start the curbing again because we're going to slow and we can use the same breaking point get it turned in and stay sort of half a car's width away from the curb i still found good rotation here even on the rubbered line so it wasn't too bad once you slow down just be careful getting on the throttle too early here because you will understeer wide and uh, touch that curb and grass and it will not be good now this kink is dangerous you want to stay from the lake that's on the apex and then here there's a really weird snap just there you need to prepare for that because it will come out and bite you in the rear end be very very cautious about that if you could miss it do it without going too far wide on the curb but it, there is a few people that are going to spin there. I don't know what it is, a dip or a massive great ocean. Who knows? Coming over this one, we're using the white line here. We're just breaking before it and we're staying off the rubber curb and bear that in mind. And as we slow down, we kind of miss the puddle there and keep on rotating. I get very, very close to this curb here because that little bit of snap over steer I get. You want to avoid that curb, but it is kind of safe because you've got a bit of downforce. End of the curbing there on the right hand side. We're braking, we're going nice and deep into the corner. Don't go too far because it kind of goes off camera. Again, the rear stepping out, you see that point. We're just pushing the exit a little bit, the entry, sorry, a little bit too much. But don't go too wide because the camera will take you out of the corner and it won't be very, very good. Coming to this chicane now, we do really need to slow the car down. It was bad in the dry and we really need to slow down in the wet. So start the curbing. Bring it sort of to the outside, try and open the corner best you can. There's a giant puddle there, so I try and take the curb to get over it. A little bit of understeer, and then I'm feeding the power in nice and gently. And again, I'm trying to avoid that snap over steer like you get there. Avoid all the curbings, as always, particularly through these corners, because it is going to be tricky. So the roll, Rolex sign again, we're going deep into the corner, and we're missing the curb and the puddle there. We're trying to stay on the rubber side. We want to compromise this corner to get far left-hand side, but if you can't do it, you can't do it. And again, you want to avoid that lake on the things. See, another snap of oversteer as we cross the rubber line. That is going to happen through here. You're just trying to keep it smooth, keep it sort of somewhat civilized to get around. This corner is not flat, so don't even try it. Just go out wide, big lift through there. Let the car be quite neutral and just be safe through there. You should be absolutely fine. Again, off the racing line, but we're using the start of the curb. So just before it, nice and braking on this one. Avoid the curb, avoid the lake that's there as well, and you should be fine. You get a little bit of snap over state as we're crossing sort of this clean rubber line a little bit. Just be prepared to catch it and be easy on the throttle. Once we get on full power, we should be okay because we're downhill. This corner was actually quite fun in the wet. You could brake just before the curbing, and there is quite a lot of grip in the middle of the circuit here. So again, I'm only braking like 50%, but be easy. Because it's such a slow corner, we can go through that massive ocean that's on the uh, apex there and avoid the ape, uh, exit curb as well, and you should be absolutely fine. Penultimate corner at this one, so brake sort of middle of the circuit, and we're using the advertisement sign just a little bit before than we did in the dry. Brake in a nice straight line, and again, we're going slow enough that we can kind of go deep and then cut back over the rubber line, and we should be able to find. There is an absolute river 
on the Apex there. So be cautious about hitting it and obviously be cautious of the exit curb as well. Use a bit of the pit lane because it's part of the track technically, so we can use it. And last corner here, we're using the Marshall post there on the left hand side just as we pass it again, nice and easy. I kind of go deep into this corner again and then try and cut it back. I get a little bit of snap over here, but I want to cut it back to that curb, but I don't want to get too close to it because there is another river there. So be cautious. See, I just get close enough to it that it just ripples the car out, just a little bit of snap over there, and it just ruins that little run of maybe a couple of tenths down on the straight to this turn one again. But that is us on a tricky lap done and dusted. Right, both laps done and dusted. And you can see how tricky it is in the wet round here by the actual amount of corrections I had to do on the steering wheel. Not ideal, but keeping it pointing in the straight line is going to be key for these races in the wet session and, to be honest, in the dry session. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and do that lovely YouTube stuff. Otherwise, have a good race. Let me know in the comments how you get along. I will catch you on the track.